Back for part two on this WPSD Local 6 Legal Line with attorneys from the Bryant Law Center in Paducah, Austin Kennedy, Kevin Shannon, directly to my left, taking your questions regarding personal injury at one 208 We have a question from Kendra who says, I sustained a bad injury at work and work comp is saying that I violated safety rules, but I was just doing what my supervisor told me to do. Will this affect my work comp case? It definitely could. It could be an issue that needs to be litigated. Um, if you're saying on one hand that the uh, employer or your supervisor is the one that told you to do something that uh, probably would have violated some sort of OSHA regulation or uh, statute or anything, anything else, then uh, what could probably happen is that uh, you can make a claim for an enhanced benefit based on a safety violation of the employer. On the other hand, if the employer uh, maintains that uh, that what you did resulted was, I guess, a, a violation or some sort of um, breaking of a rule uh, that led to your injury, they could claim that uh, a reduction is in place for the safety violation on your part. So it's probably an issue that, you know, once you start pointing fingers at the other side, they're going to start pointing them back, and you're going to have an issue on your hand that's going to have to go in front of a judge to be decided more than likely. Danita wants to know, what happens if I was involved in a hit-and-run accident and the police cannot find the person responsible for causing the wreck? What recourse does she have? Um, in that situation, you're probably going to have to look to your own insurance uh, policy or the insurance policy covering the car that you were in at the time of the accident. Most policies, uh, at least in Kentucky, will contain uh, uninsured motorist coverage. It's uh, coverage that's required by law, uh, and the only way you wouldn't have it is if you specifically rejected it in writing. And uninsured motorist coverage uh, defines an uninsured motorist to include a hit-and-run vehicle. So as long as there was physical contact between your vehicle and the vehicle that then left the scene, uh, you would probably have a claim for uninsured motorist benefits under your own uh, insurance policy. We have another question that relates mainly to personal injury, and it's from Walter who says, I was bitten by a neighbor's dog, and I had to go to the emergency room to get stitches. Do I have a claim? And I'm guessing at this point, uh, what extent uh, of the injuries were there? I, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, that, was a, that was a tough one, Walter. Uh, yes, you have a claim. Um, in all likelihood, I'll, I'll make that caveat. Uh, I'm assuming that you did nothing to provoke the dog. Uh, but, uh, you know, the, the real problem with most dog bite cases is uh, where can you be, uh, where can you find insurance coverage so that you actually receive compensation. Now, if the uh, owner of the dog actually um, has some money, uh, and you could get uh, a judgment against them to pay your medical bills, then that's one possibility. But a lot of people, uh, if they just have their dogs out running wild and they're maybe, uh, they don't have insurance, uh, homeowner's insurance coverage, um, you may not be able to get any compensation even though technically you have a claim. It, it, the old saying goes, you can't get blood out of a turnip. So if they don't have money, you're not going to be able to get it. If they don't have insurance, it may be tough. I have one final question, just real quickly, uh, from an anonymous viewer who says, I was injured in a car wreck and have been paying medical insurance claims out of my, or medical bills out of my pocket. Can I get reimbursed by insurance? Well, I mean, in Kentucky, it's a no-fault state. Personal injury protection would cover the first $10,000 in accident-related medical bills and wage loss. If you're paying out of pocket, I would say the first thing you need to do is contact the insurance of the vehicle you were in. You'll need to fill out what's called a PIP application. Uh, you need to make sure that you're keeping receipts or any kind of confirmation that you've been paying those bills out of pocket. If it's co-pays or if you've been paying the bill in full, uh, you need to get it to that insurance company as soon as possible so that you can uh, get, get reimbursed um, uh, for any kind of um, cost that you might have incurred as a result of the, that uh, car wreck. Austin Kennedy, Kevin Shannon from the Bryant Law Center in Paducah have been our guests on this edition of Local 6 Legal Line.